Hello everyone. I hope that uh, you have a great day today. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you okay, how to demonstrate and uh, validate uh, your DHCP server okay, on a Windows okay, uh, Server 2012 okay, uh, machine. Okay. All right. Okay, and then uh, okay, here will be my uh, virtual box. Okay, virtual box. Okay, and then let me minimize my document over here. Okay. And then you can see that I have uh, two instances of uh, Windows uh, system running. One is Windows 7, okay, and then uh, running on the uh, internal network. And then another one is the Windows 2012. Okay, again, okay, uh, they all are running in the same okay, internal network. Okay, and this will be my okay, 2012 okay, machine. Okay, this will be my uh, Windows okay, uh, 7 uh, machine. Okay. And then again, okay, uh, the uh, purpose is to validate that uh, this DSCP works fine. And for example, okay, if okay, uh, the uh, uh, address pool okay, has been allocated, okay, then how do we okay, uh, verify that uh, the client indeed okay, can get an address okay, from okay, a certain range of the uh, addresses okay, and also the least time okay so let me show it to you okay so uh, let me go to the uh, okay, server manager here go to the tools okay, and then select the uh, DHCP again I assume that okay, you have the uh, DHCP okay, set up already and let me increase the size a little bit let me expand the uh, scope over here and then from the scope over here okay I can right click the mouse button okay, and then select uh, properties there you go okay so you can see that okay on my uh, example over here okay I use the uh, network prefix ID okay, 10.0.0 .0 .0, okay but then the range okay, I set it up for any client machine okay, will be from 50 to 100 okay and the least time okay, I set it to two hours only okay all right okay so let me click okay and then uh, as of now okay if I select the uh, address pool okay uh, then you can see it, uh, sorry address pool then you can see this is the range okay, of the uh, uh, IPs okay, uh, I have set it up okay and then okay, uh, anyone okay, has this my uh, IP from my pool? Yes, okay, there's a machine called owner PC okay, dash A uh, has this the uh, okay, IP address 10.0.0.50 .0 .0 .0 okay, from uh, my address pool over here. Okay, but then again, okay, how can I verify it? Okay, so let me switch back to the uh, Windows okay, 7 machine over here, then I can uh, select click the uh, window icon and select control panel and select the uh, network and uh, sharing center then pick the uh, change network ad adapter setting right click the uh, mouse okay, on the uh, uh, local uh, error connection okay and then okay, click properties okay and then select IP version 4 okay, and then click properties again then you can see that okay, I use the uh, uh, DSCP okay, uh, option okay, not static IP option over here okay then I can click OK okay, click OK okay and then let me uh, close this one then I can use the uh, comment prompt okay I can use the comment prompt okay so let me click the icon over here okay in the search box I can type in CMD and let me okay, uh, enlarge the screen okay and uh, uh, okay uh, if, again okay, if necessary okay, maybe change the font size okay, a little bit okay so let me see uh, whether I can increase the uh, larger font size or not okay Oh, this, this is a little bit ugly. Okay, so let me uh, change to something. Okay, uh, this one. Yeah, 12 by 16 should be fine. All right. Let me okay, uh, open it up. Okay, then I can, okay, again, I can quickly do an IP show an FIG with all option here. Then you can see that indeed, okay, this is the name of my machine, okay, owner dash, owner PC dash A, okay, which shows get okay, over the uh, address get okay, at least pool get okay, over the server exactly the same name okay 
And then this is the uh, uh, IP address. Okay, this is the IP address. Get ten dot zero dot zero dot fifty. Okay, again, okay. Uh, this is the uh, the one cut uh, list okay, from the server. And also the uh, this time. Okay, so again, okay, uh, this will expire okay, in two hours. Okay, again, uh, select the scope. Okay, right click the mouse button and pick. Okay, properties, okay, they will go, okay, two hours, okay, here, okay. And then again, uh, I can even uh, do, okay, uh, a release, okay, so IP is your NFIG, okay, uh, release, okay, uh, the uh, IP address, okay, at least, okay, and then, okay, do, okay, uh, let me do a little bit clean up here, okay, so let me see, CLS, I guess, that's correct. Then let me type IP, C-O-N-F-I-G, Okay, then you can see that uh, I do not have an uh, IP address at all. Okay, yeah, because this is the wrong IP address. Okay, okay, then okay, uh, I can again, okay, do a renew. Okay, do a renew. Okay, yeah, do a renew. Okay, and then okay, uh, you will send uh, a, a DHCP okay, client request to the server to request okay, uh, an IP address, okay, which is correct. Then again, okay, I can do an all option here. Okay, to show okay, uh, the uh, least time, okay, uh, two hours, okay, and then again, uh, this is the uh, IP address, okay, so again, uh, this is how you can uh, demonstrate and validate that, okay, uh, your uh, DSCP server is working fine, and then client will be able to get an IP address okay, from this server, okay, so again, uh, you can vali validate it, okay, validate it okay, from the uh, address pool, at uh, least, Okay, option over here, okay? All right, okay, uh, I'm going to stop the video right now. Okay. Uh, but in the uh, homework uh, assignment, okay, please make sure that okay, uh, you set uh, 100 uh, IP addresses okay, from uh, okay, this range to this range. And then for the uh, network ID, okay, uh, if you want to use 10.0.0.0 is fine. If you want to use 192.168.83 is totally fine with me, okay? Yeah, and also uh, make sure you set the least time to three days, okay? All right.